Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you yet another strategy that I'm using to get clients for my marketing agency. Now, if you've been following me lately, you'll know that I've made a few of these videos about different strategies to get clients. So, you know, check out my channel if you want to see some of those other videos. But in this video, I'm going to show you the whiteboard webinar method of getting clients. This method's nice because it's pretty simple. It gets rid of a lot of the fluff that's normally involved with creating a webinar. So I think you guys are going to like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the basic structure of how this works. Now, whiteboard webinar is a term that I got from Dan Henry. I'm following his method somewhat combined with some of Frank Kern's tactics as well. So it's kind of a hybrid of those two. So I won't take credit for any of it. Again, like none of these are my ideas. These are just things that I got from people who've already figured this out. So if you know anything about how a webinar normally works, uh, a webinar has a lot of stuff associated with it. Usually you have people will, will sign up for a webinar and then that webinar will be scheduled for some date in the future and then they have to get on the computer and log into the webinar at that time on that date. And a lot of times people are doing automated webinars, so really they're just recorded. They just kind of make the person feel like it's a live event even though it's really not a live event at all. So what this whiteboard webinar method that, that Dan Henry came up with does is that it kind of gets rid of a lot of the fluff and it just brings people from sign up directly to webinar. So I won't bother going over the normal webinar model because, you know, uh, that's not ideal. It's, it's a big pain. It's a lot of work. I've done it before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this uh, whiteboard webinar works. So it goes from ads and I'm going to actually, I think on this video, I'll get into the ad strategy a little bit because that's the part that I took from Frank Kern. So I run ads. Uh, in this case, I'm running ads on Facebook. I was running ads both on YouTube and on Facebook at the same time. And my ads on, on Facebook, I'm getting like $1.40, something like that per click. And my ads on YouTube, I'm getting $20 a click. So clearly those have failed miserably. So I'm just going with Facebook from now on. So anyway, so I go for my ads. I go to an opt-in page for the webinar. And then from the opt-in page of the webinar, instead of going through the whole email sequence and all of the, you know, trying to get the person to show up at exactly the right date and time, I'm just going to bring them directly to the webinar. And my, my webinar is a little simpler than a normal webinar too. I'm not doing the whole, uh, you know, hour and a half long thing with all the client testimonials and all the big long story about myself and all that. It's a very simplified kind of webinar. And, at the end of my webinar, I ask the client to sign up uh, for a call with me. So really pretty simple structure there. So I'll show you a little bit more into depth at what the ads are going to look like. So what I just finished doing now, actually right before recording this video, was I recorded a bunch of different videos all for different ads for different parts of the process, which is what I, I give to my clients. So what I did uh, to figure out the ads. And by the way, these are going to be informational ads. I told you a little bit about that before, but what each one is, it's like three to five minute ad that tells people something useful that they can use today in their business. And then at the end of the ad, I say, by the way, if you enjoyed this, check out my free training. The free training is this webinar, right? So I say, check out the free training. They click on the ad, they go to the opt-in and then they give me their name and email address and then they go to the webinar. And of course, since I got their name and email, I go send them some emails, you know, to uh, get them to either watch the webinar if they haven't already or to schedule a call with me and potentially be my client. So the ads, what I have is these informational ads and the, the way that I came up with uh, what to do for my informational ads was I just came up with, I, I just went over my whole process for what I do for my clients. So what I do for my clients is I help them to increase their revenue in five different ways. So I, I just listed out those ways. So number one is to get more impressions, right? That is to get more people to visit their website, more people to visit their Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and number two is, um, was it how to get more of those impressions to become leads? So how to increase their opt-in rate? And then three was how to get those leads to become customers. So how to improve their sales process? 
right? And um, you know, I won't go over all of them, but basically what I do is I listed out my whole process and then under each of those numbers, I put bullet points. So it's like, here's one way to get more impressions. Here's another way to get more impressions. Here's another way to get more impressions. Under here, here's one way to get more leads. Here's another way to get more leads. Here's another way to get more leads. And then, you know, et cetera. For all, all five points of my process, I put these sub points. And then, so what I did is I just took a, a bunch of these sub points. I did like five or six of them. And I decided that I would just talk for three to five minutes on how to do that sub point. So I'd say how to do, for example, the first thing under impressions I said was how to do Facebook ads, or I didn't actually show how to do Facebook ads because that would take a long time. I just said why you might want to consider doing Facebook ads uh, as opposed to traditional marketing. So I've got a whole bunch of these that are all running at the same time. So uh, each of these is its own ad and they all of them at the end of the ad, it asks the person to go to this opt-in page and sign up for the webinar. So I'm gonna run uh, probably five different video ads, five or six, something like that. And then I'm gonna run a few different variations on targeting to each of them. And so I'm gonna have like maybe 15, 20 different ads all running at the same time, all with a very small ad budget so that I can see what's working. And then whatever ads perform the best, I'm gonna put more money on and then some of the ones that don't perform as well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retry them as retargeting ads because just because an ad didn't really work to a cold audience, which is you know, what I'm talking about up here, uh, doesn't mean that it won't work to a warm audience. Cold audience just means that you have very little of the person's attention because they don't know who you are, right? You gotta hook them immediately. Whereas if it's a warm audience who already likes, knows, and trusts you, um, because they've watched some of your stuff before, well, then you have a little bit longer to get their attention before they click off your ad. Now, as for the webinar itself, the webinar itself, uh, I decided to, I kind of did the same thing as I did with the ad videos, except I made it, I made it a bigger topic. So instead of just choosing one of these little sub points, I decided to go with a uh, big overall point. And so I went with the leads point. So I go through in a fair bit of detail, kind of similar to what I'm doing here, how they can get more of the people who are already on their website to become leads. And I gave it a pretty catchy title, which uh, you can check out. Actually, it's the last video that I uploaded to my YouTube. I made it public, so you can watch the whole thing if you want. I'll put a link up here so you can watch that. It's called How to Double Your New Bookings in Seven Days Without Spending a Penny on Ads. And I put it up on YouTube public because um, if I can get organic exposure to that, that is people that are just searching in the search bar, then that's pretty nice for me too. I've been doing the organic strategy a little bit because if people put in dermatologist marketing or plastic surgery marketing, there's not really very much competition. So if you, if you write in dermatology marketing, for example, I think I, my video comes up like number two, right? So I get a little bit of traffic that way and I, you know, I want to... I want to expose myself as much as I can. So that's how I do the webinar. So basically I, I do this, I start with uh, the part about like how to, how to get more leads, right? I teach on that for maybe 15 minutes. And then after that, so I'll, I'll write this out real quick. So uh, I, oh, let's say I do an introduction. I, I say who I am. I give just a little bit of my story, very short version. Then I teach for a while, and then at the end I give my pitch. I say, um, if you would like to get a free marketing plan, if you'd like to consider working with me, then click the link below, and I have a funnel page where I have a link that shows up after like 20 minutes when my pitch starts. Uh, it's a, a, just a button that takes them to an application, and then they enter a little bit of information about themselves, and then I give them a call and sell my services over the call. By the way, if you're finding this video useful or informative, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up because it makes the YouTube algorithm like me better, and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos because I got lots of awesome stuff like this that's gonna help you a lot in your business and your life. And if you have any questions for me that you'd like me to address in a future video, then let me know in the comments. I might just make a video about it. So that's it. That's my whole strategy. Basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty, it does require some work, 
of course, especially, you know, recording all of those videos, but I all, I did it all kind of in one fell swoop. So I'm kind of, I get, like, I'm rusty about videos when I haven't done it in a few days, but when I, I do the first video, uh, you know, I have to struggle through it a little bit, but then after that, the other videos are easy because I'm like in talking mode. I don't know if everybody else works like that, but that's the way I work. So if I want to make videos the easiest possible way, I just make a whole bunch of them at the same time. So that's it. Feel free to copy this strategy if you want. If you want to take a look at my webinar, like I said, go look at my last video. That, that video is the webinar, right? I'm saying, I'm using the term webinar pretty loosely here because usually webinar means that it's, you know, it's live and there's a chat and all this stuff. But I'm, I'm using a, just a pre-recorded video in kind of the same way that, that a lot of people will do a webinar strategy. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, you'll probably also enjoy this video where I teach you a completely different strategy, although kind of along the same lines for getting clients to your agency. And by the way, all of this stuff that I told you will work for other business models too. It's not only for an agency. So watch that video and hit the like and the subscribe.